Hi everyone. So for this particular video I thought it'd be useful to show you how to add gadgets to um, your blogger blog. Um, just so we're clear, a lot of times you'll hear people say widget, which is um, just kind of the more popular term um, on Google or in this case blogger.com. They use the term gadget. It's the same thing. Because we're talking about blogger.com, we'll use the term gadget, but just so you're clear that the terms are synonymous. So gadgets are basically extra features that you can add to your blog to make it more interesting or to make it easier for people to follow you. So if we were to look at the blog right here, let's look at, not to blogging, so let's look at this right here. Okay. So these things right here, this is your basic, this is the blog. These are your blog posts. So that's basic stuff. Gadgets are extra features that kind of are designed to enhance your blog. So I added a search this blog to make it easier for people to search for things. Here's an about me profile. I added a Twitter button, the most popular posts, things like that. So these are all gadgets. They're extra additional features. In theory, you don't need any gadgets. I mean, a blog is just this stuff right here. It's the continuous posts. So this should, you know, be designed to enhance your, you know, reader's blogging experience here. So let's go back to the layout. Now, Blogger does make this very easy um, if you, you know, want to rearrange things. So to add a gadget, you click right here or you can click down here. Um, certain gadgets are designed to fit in the sidebar, this, this area right here. Some of them can fit in the sidebar or the header or footer, depending on how they're laid out. Some are just designed to be fit in the footer or the header. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you won't be able to put a gadget up here, and that's because it is not designed to be placed there. So you click right here. Here's your list of gadgets. These are all ones that were designed by Blogger. So they're kind of boring, but you know they're useful and um, they're probably going to work really well with your blog because they were designed by Blogger. Um, here, if you click on Featured, these are things that you're starting to get into uh, gadgets designed by third parties. Some of them are really good. If they're being featured by Blogger, they're probably going to work well with your blog. You can also go online and find things. Um, you know, you just type in uh, blogger gadgets and see what kind of hits you get. Um, some of them are really good. Some of them, you know, I would definitely test them out before you add them to your blog, see how they work. So we're just going to do a basic one right now. We'll add a text. Okay, so not very exciting, but you get the idea. So you could put whatever you want. It could be the announcement for your next book title. It could be, you know, your next cooking recipe or stay tuned. Whatever you want to put as the title, and then this is the body of the text. So then you click Save. Make sure you click Save or it doesn't save. <laughs> so there it is. It appeared. Now I can put this text anywhere I want. This text, they're not designed to go in the header. See how it won't let me put it there? But anywhere else, so I'll put it below the About Me. Now, there's two options that I have right now. I can preview this. This is a preview, see right here? So this is not actually live on the internet yet. It's just showing you what it would look like. So there's the text I just added. So I can preview it, and then if I like how that looks, the second option is you click Save Arrangement. I'm not going to click it right now because I don't want to mess around with my blog too much. But you click Save Arrangement and then it would save and now it's live on the internet. So that's just adding basic gadgets that are already listed. Something that's a little bit more complex, let's go back to the blog right here. Oh, this is the preview one, we don't want that. Okay, so this is my blog. Something that's a little bit more complex is a lot of times you'll see on blogs um, like right here, I have a Twitter follow button. You might also see um, a Facebook, you know, like button or something like that or, you know, a PayPal donate thing. So if you want to add that, that's called adding an HTML. This is a little bit more complex. It actually took me a long time to figure out how to do this. So that's why I'm showing you. 
Okay, so going back here, let's edit this text one. We'll remove it. That's how you remove it. Okay, so say I want to add the Twitter follow button. I already have one added, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So you have to pick the site that you want to add the button for. So say you want a Twitter thing. So I'll pull up Twitter right here. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of looking around, but usually, you know, they'll have some sort of announcement. In Twitter's case, you'd click on resources here on the bottom. Ah, here we go. And then you click on add Twitter button. See, right here is Twitter widgets. means the same thing. So you can look up those in your own time if you'd like. But we're adding a Twitter button. So you'd click get started. And then you'd pick what kind of button that you want. So mention, follow. We'll click on a follow one right here. Okay, so you can customize this however you like. This is what you're looking for, this stuff right here. And it looks scary, but it really isn't that bad. So it's basically coding for your computer. So you're putting this on your blog, and it's telling the blog what the dimensions of the button are, what the button's supposed to do. So the good thing is, is that you don't really have to do much with this. All you do is highlight the whole thing, and then you copy it. So you do command C or control C, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC. All right, now let's go back to our blog. All right, here's what you're looking for. You click Add Gadget, and then you click HTML or JavaScript. This is what you want right here. So you add it. You can put a title if you want, so say Twitter button, or you can just leave it blank if you don't want a title. And then you paste the HTML stuff in there. Like I said, it looks really scary, but you don't really have to do anything with it. It's just telling you what it's supposed to, you know, the computer, what it's supposed to look like. So that's it. I mean, you put the title, and then you just paste the HTML stuff in there, and then make sure you click Save. There it is. So there's Twitter button. And then you can move this wherever you want. Let's put it below my search this blog. And then I'll preview it so we can see what it looks like. And there it is. See? It's doing it. So, like I said, you don't have to do anything with the HTML script. That's what, but you do have to copy paste it. So we're going to remove that just to show you how to remove something. So that's all you have to do. So if you're, you know, interested in finding something, you do have to look around. Um, if it's not obvious, like on Twitter, I really don't think this is, you know, that obvious with, you know, where to find the resource button. What you can do is just type in on internet um, HTML button for Twitter or Facebook, and usually there's some sort of help forum where it'll say exactly where to do it. Um, so, like I said, just look that up. But this is what you're looking for. You want this kind of script right here, and then you copy paste in it. So I hope it was helpful for you. Um, please feel free to drop by my blog. It's nontechyblogging.blogspot.com. Thank you so much.